guys hi everyone good morning and thank you so much for stopping by if you're new here my name is cynthia and you are welcome guys <laughs> i know you might be paying attention to my eyebrows these are eyebrow gels which i decided to try again i've had them for a while i just never used them but this morning i guess i get to use them on my on my eyebrows you know i think they're nice you put them on for a while you peel it off I haven't peeled it off, hence it's still shining. But I think I'll leave it like this to go out because I kind of like the shine, you know. Anyway, guys, welcome to another vlog. Um, I have a few errands to do today. Some I might take you guys with me or maybe not. But let's see how it goes. If you're new here, my name is Cynthia. And thank you so much again for stopping by. Anyway, guys, let's jump right into this vlog. My first errand is I'm taking my daughter to school. She has an appointment there and then when I come back, I will talk to you guys. You ready? Yes. I feel like I'm talking <laughs> fast. Let's go. I feel like I'm talking fast, but I normally talk fast. Yeah, sometimes I kind of slow it down when I'm talking to you guys. But... Oh, I'm done. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's go. Oh, my shoes is outside. I can't... My boots are outside. Right. So I'm going with this hat to keep me warm. It's a half an hour walk. <laughs> we are hoping that we don't get late also. It's also raining, so I'm going to go with my rain boot. <laughs> right, guys. It is raining. And where we are going to... Let me put come closer. <laughs> okay, I can speak. Where we are going to... It is a five minutes drive, but I decided to walk because we're indoors most time. Why drive when I can walk down there in half an hour? I know it's raining, but walking is healthy. <laughs> and I sound breathless because that's because we are walking so fast, so we don't get late. But it is unlikely that we will get late anyway. We are on time. Okay, guys. I'll speak to you guys later. Kilometer continue minutes five seconds. Right. Let's talk. I am back home. It's been a while. I had a a kind of sit down video with you guys. Yeah, I think I did one a week ago also, you know. But yeah, I think I'll be doing more of sit down video once in a while, maybe weekly with you guys. But let's see how it goes. And from the title, guys, as you guys can see from the title, I want to share with you guys some of my struggles whilst in lockdown, especially whilst homeschooling. And I want to share this video because I believe that others might relate to me. So, guys, let's get started. Number one, guys, I struggle so much keeping up with school's email. Initially, when the lockdown started, I mean, last year, I was on top of the emails. I was like, yes, I've got this. I've got this, you know. After a while, all I hear my phone is ding, 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 ding. For each child, I get two emails daily. So basically, I'm getting eight emails <laughs> daily. Because sometimes those schools communicate with us about the changes with a timetable, lessons, things like that, you know. And guys, I am struggling to keep up on the emails. And there's nothing wrong with struggling, you know. Because I want to share this because some people might say, might feel that, oh, I'm struggling and they are afraid to voice out. But I want to say that if you're like me, currently I am struggling, you know. And I would say also it is quite important that we check those emails because like today now I had an appointment with my second daughter. She had an appointment in school and if I hadn't checked my email, we would have made that appointment, you know. Luckily, I checked my email on a Sunday and I was able to respond to them and they responded back immediately, even though it was on a Sunday, you know. And they responded back to me telling me that, okay, fine, we can... They book us. They, they book us. They book us for this particular um, um appointment. You know, if you're like me out there, are you struggling with your kids' schools email? 
I am struggling with those, you know, but hey, it is what it is, you know. It's not easy checking eight emails daily, five days a week. Like, to the teachers out there, you guys are amazing. Kudos. Keep up the good work. Number two, guys, my second struggle, guys, is I struggle watching the news. I struggle watching the news. That's because anytime I watch the news, there's always something bad happening. The whole of 2020, it was just something bad happening, you know. 2021, we still at the start. You put the news on, it's a new strain of virus. It's a new type of this, new this, new that. Race is increasing. And for me, I don't want anything that will make me more anxious. So what I do now is I avoid watching the news. Although I am fully aware of what's happening in my surrounding, I am fully aware, but I choose to control things that I, that I can control basically that will help me avoid stress so if i can avoid watching the news and that will reduce my stress i don't watch the news you know <laughs> number three guys is my number three guys alarms alarms i am struggling with alarms you know my i still wake up the same time i used to wake up in the past when my work alarm goes off I mean, when I used to commit to work, you know, and the alarm is no longer on, but the alarm is kind of on somewhere in this body that at a particular time, my body wakes up and I'm like, what? I am working from home. Why can't this body just sleep a little bit longer? But I think that might be because after several years of having a, a routine of Waking up this particular time for work, prepping the kids, prepping this, this, that, that, that. The body has been programmed and it is taking its, it is taking its time to unprogram itself, you know. It would be nice if, whilst in lockdown, it can unprogram itself to go back to sleep longer. But it's not happening and I can't lie down in bed just like that. I have to get up. When, when I am awake, I have to get up, you know. Number four, guys, and that's the last one is... If I get the slightest sore throat, a cough, a fever, a headache, that drives me. Ooh, I begin to think, okay, what's happening? Is it this? Is it that? Then I start my rituals of drinking, of basically making my concussion. Garlic, honey, ginger, lemon, water, boil it. <laughs> Do you guys relate? You know, it's just the whole change with the whole world, kind of. What I'm trying to say, basically, is that it did affect. It, it is. I know it's affecting a lot of people, though. But but these are some of my struggles. And guys, if you're experiencing similar, drop a comment down below. What are your struggles? You know, I love reading your comments. As you guys are aware, I love reading your comments. So please drop a comment down below, and let's have a two-way conversation. And yeah, you know. Anyway, guys, that's about it for now. Currently, I am trying to see where I'm going to take this channel to because I want to make some changes and I have loads of ideas in my head of what I want to do, but there appears to be no time for me to do them because I am homeschooling and that's my priority for now. And But let's see how it goes, you know. But for now, guys, you will see more sit-down videos with you guys about motivational contents, inspirational content, things like that, you know. Anyway, guys, I think I don't want to make this vlog too long, so I'll end the video here. And I will say thanks for watching. And if you do love the content, please do thumbs up because that does help my video with regards to YouTube. And of course, guys, share the video. Share the video, guys. Share the video. There is love in sharing. Share to your mom, share to your dad, share to your husband, to your wife, to your partner, to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, to your friends. Share, guys. There is love in sharing. Anyway, guys. And, have, and, and lastly, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please, guys, do subscribe to my channel. It is free to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.